a few moments later. Today we're gonna grill some swordfish I had just bought from the supermarket. It's still fresh. We're gonna take it and put it on this grill. I'm gonna try something new today. Over here, I have a fire pit where there is some charcoal, just burnt up wood that has been previously burnt in other campfires we had here. I wanna take some of that charcoal, put that in my grill and see how that works. Some natural charcoal. This is some old charcoal here that I will be removing. So as we can see here, I don't think we have enough pieces of large chunks of charcoal to start with the wood charcoal idea. That's about all I could get out of there that was large enough. So we're just gonna use plain old sticks. That's just some old dried up weeds there and that's some sticks. That's the starter, that's the kick. Let's go for it. So now we got the starter going. We gotta throw these sticks on top. Get it going even further. And sooner the better because then we'll get that swordfish on there. So now we got our fire going and we got some nice larger pieces of wood on top to keep it fueled. I'm gonna lower these racks back down. So the fire is looking great. Got a great smack on top. And now we're ready to season this. We're keeping it pretty simple. We use some Obey garlic powder, black peppercorn grinder, and steakhouse seasoning. So let's sprinkle that Obey on there first. I don't want to overdo it. Just a little bit. Let's go for the garlic powder. And then some peppercorns. So I had to use both hands with the peppercorns. So it's ready on there. And now we just toss those on, on the fire, let them cook. I'm gonna put those on top rack. So my fire is going down just a tad bit, and since I got it on top rack, I'm gonna feed the fire a little bit. Put a couple of these in there. It's good to have one of these type of grills because you can just kind of feed it from the front. And even now, a little coal that we use got fiery red. If I had some more of those bigger ones, I wouldn't have to feed the fire so much. It's probably too many, but it's good right now. So now everything is done on there. The fire is fed. We just close that grill top up. Leave the chimney open. We we'll check it in a few minutes. See how it's looking. I give it about, check it in about three minutes, three to four minutes. So all fish is looking like it's getting done. A lot of people like swordfish a little bit rare, which I do also. I'm gonna flip this really quickly. And hopefully, it still will be a bit rare. That's nice on that side. Let's try this one out. Oh yeah, that's looking beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna think of make cook for maybe like another one or two minutes, and it'll be done. Move that back down. So I think about a minute or two went by, and I think these are about done. Look at them now. That's looking beautiful and delicious. Isn't that lovely? Put them on these plates. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Mm. Oh, listen to that sizzle. One of my favorite sounds. It's just a nice piece of meat sizzling on the grill. Mm. Now it's gonna be time for the taste test. So now we got the amazing tuna steak inside. 
And one thing I like to do to enhance the flavor is to maybe add a little bit of lime or lemon. This time for me it's lime. So let's get some of that on there. And all these yummy pieces here. Look at the color of that meat. Look at the way it separates there. That's beautiful. See, it's not too rare, it's not too done. It has that, that tenderness that you, that melts in your mouth. It's just amazing. Let's try this piece right here. Oh my God. Oh, so good. It's tender and juicy. It has a nice grilled flavor. It's everything, literally it's everything. Comment below, let me know how you like it. I'd love to hear from you. Talk soon. Uh, later. So right now is one of my most favorite parts of the day, and that's that time to work out. Gotta keep these babies in shape, keep those abs rigid, and stay strong. It's actually good for your immune health during the coronavirus period, which is what I read. So all you're doing is improving yourself. Why not keep on going? Let's go for it. 10 bow push-ups. One of my favorite exercises is ab workouts. I love to keep these things here, these babies in tip top shape. The only way to do that is with ab workouts. And also having a good diet and doing cardio really does help. So after this, I will be going on a job for about maybe one, two, three miles. But before that, let's get some abs in. I'm gonna do 40 of these. So we got those sit-ups done in that crucifix-like position where we're kind of extending our legs out and pulling back the contraction back together towards our center there. Now we're gonna do some leg lifts. I learned these playing football since I was a little kid playing little league. So we lift our legs up. Hold it there for a few moments. And part. Together, you wanna keep them as straight as possible. Hold them up there. You have to do a little scissor kicker. You make, it, make it a little more difficult, but you don't have to do that. You actually bring these down whenever it gets too difficult for you. But I love to try with myself. And that's how you do Legos. Try it at home. <laughs> we got a monstrous spider right here. He looks very vicious, deadly, it's spiny, and ready to kill. How much would someone have to pay you to hold this spider? I love to feed him something. Made up, baby